This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Earth. Seriously, bro. Part 38, the anti-tail tale and correction. In my last official episode, I stated that no comet had had a forward-facing or sun-facing tail. And for that reason, I was going to rename it from a comet to a jet rink. I was incorrect. I did not do my due diligence properly, and I made a mistake. The fact that I represented to you is not a fact at all. The truth of the matter is, is that comets have had sunward-facing tails before. It's called an anti-tail. That sounds kind of scary. Horror filmish. Three other notable comets have had anti-tails. Comet A. Rend, Roland in 1957, Comet Hale-Bopp in 1997, and Comet Pan-Stars in 2013. Those are the three known anti-tail tail comets. Wikipedia says an anti-tail is a term used in astronomy to describe one of the three tails, all pointing in different directions, which may appear to emulate from a comet as it passes close to the sun. The anti-tail appears when viewed from Earth as a spike projecting from the comet's coma towards the sun and thus geometrically opposite to the other tails, the ion tail and the dust tail. So I guess now we know the holy trinity of comet tails. You got the anti-tail, the ion tail, and the dust tail. Oh yeah, Comet Ison is gonna bring a lot of tail. It's always weird to me because imagine a cat or a, a, a dog, a giraffe, horse, with the tail in the front. I don't know, I mean, you, the whole thing is weird. The anti-tail is formed of larger dust particles, which are less affected by the sun's radiation pressure or solar wind, and tend to remain in the comet's orbital plane and eventually form a disk? Huh? As the Earth passes through the comet's orbital plane, this disk is seen side on and appears as a characteristic spike. The other side of the disk can sometimes be seen, though it tends to be lost in the dust tail. The anti-tail is therefore normally visible for a brief interval only when the Earth passes through the comet's orbital plane. Well, that sums it up for me now, doesn't it? And I gotta say, if we've really only studied three anti-tail comets, one in 1957, one in 1997, and one in 2013, can I say that we're not experts? No, I bet I can't. Then I won't. Okay, good. Well, in some of these photographs, it looks like the comet and the sun are connected through an energy beam. Okay. All right, so yeah, get this ion tail. And you know, if you got something sticking out the front, it's not usually a tail. It is a, cover your ears for eight seconds. It's usually a penis. So, oh man, that means that, whoa. Is Comet Ison having celestial body sex with the sun? Is that what the Roche limit really is? Sex for planets and stars and comets and asteroids. <sighs> oh yeah, and then there's news that the sun is only cooking one of Ison's poles. That sounds weird. As Comet Ison flies forward, it only rotates on one axis. So, only part of Comet Ison is getting baked. Which is weird. But hey, I'm no uh, astronomer, phd accredited, printed, published astronomer, scientist. Maybe that's normal. <laughs> uh, again, I'll remind you, if comets are omens, the United States of America government has just shut down, okay? I mean, I'm making that up. It's the truth. Can somebody please do something cool? Does that mean, and I guess I'm not surprised, that it's an anti-tail? Because it seems like these are anti-times. I mean, the government is so anti-government, it's shut down. Television is so reality TV, it's anti-reality TV. And for a year, of course, I've been getting nothing but anti-tail. But I think I've gone there way too many times. Or not gone there way too many times. I guess it doesn't anti-matter. That was a joke. <sighs> the main point is that I said something as fact, which was that no comet had, had a forward-facing tail. That is not true. As far as I know, there are now f four total. One being 1956, Arden Pones, 2006, Pan stars and conspiracy theorists, you're gonna love this one, especially if your temple hat has leveled up. The third one is named Lulin L U L I N I N I N Lul in Ellie Nin's jokester sister, I guess. And overall, I think I still might be emotionally wounded by them 
demoting Pluto? That's no excuse. But that might be fun. But true. And let's be honest here. Think of a comet. Think of what a great comet can do. Think of what a comet does. If our solar system is like a highway, they fly up and down that highway night and day. So, I mean, to me, they, they really are like dragons that fly around in space. And science can say like, no, they're not. Well, every photograph you've ever shown me of a nucleus, nucleus, looks like a dragon skull. Like it literally just, hey, it's a dragon skull. Like, no, there's no dragon body or whatever. And then I'm like, it's a magic dragon, man. Just needs his skull. Anyway. Crap, these are crazy fun times. <sighs> I'm doing my due diligence. So they were like, hey dudes, dust jet. A double dust feature is a tail that points forward. And you know, let me be clear about the mistake that I made. The mistake that I made was this. I have pride of myself. 36 episodes through to a reasonable level on the information I've provided you. I've represented to you facts as facts and all speculations, jokes, my crazy theories, conspiracy theories. I'm pretty sure I let you know up front that. I don't know. And so in the heat of the moment, when I got the photographs and the go from three of the five members, I needed to get all five. But I'll bake them a cake too. Man, I got to... It's not baking the cake that's hard. It's figuring out how to mail cakes. I guess mail, mailing cakes is not that hard. Okay. My due diligence and research got extremely lazy. I think it consisted of over like a three or four or five day span. Nobody explained that it was just an anti-tail. And so I assumed that since nobody like could even just be, oh yeah, dude, that, that's an anti-tail. Everybody knows it. if it's a forward facing tail jet, that uh, it's an anti-tail. So that once I put the video up, several people told me, yes, comets have had sunward facing, forward facing tails. So when, so five months later, after I asked a bunch of times, a bunch of different ways to a bunch of people. Hey y'all, what is a dust feature? Nobody can explain it properly back then. That's not an excuse. I'm just filling you all in. I never got a solid answer to my video double dust feature. Like, hey dude, what's a dust feature? Well, we now know it is a sunward jet. I got very excited when I saw the new asterisk. I mean, they were still from months ago. Photographs, surprise photographs, taken with the Hubble by Mr. Zolt LeVay, who's a pie. Mr. Gang Lee, who's also a pie. Wait, how y'all say pie? Pi. Pi. It's like bi, but with a P. Pi. Man, I could use some bi right now. Okay, back on subject target. Alright, so yeah. Get this ion tail. And, you know, if you got something sticking out the front, it's not usually a tail. It is a... Cover your ears for eight seconds. It's usually a penis. So, oh man, that means that... Whoa! Is Comet Ison having celestial body sex with the sun? Is that what the Roche limit really is? Sex for planets and stars and comets and asteroids. But I don't think it's a conspiracy theory to say that our government and the governments of the world, and heck, even some corporations, have much better technology than all of us know about. So if they have been using the sun as a cannon, then they shot Ellen into pieces. Then they shot Ellen into pieces, man. Anyway. Oh. And if you watch my videos at all, I have been like, as far as I know, Comet Ison is not doom. I would put its doom factor at 1 to 5, 7%. Okay, 1 to 5, 1 to 3. And that is only on a wormwood, whatever dust is made of. We don't know for a fact if it is going to mix well with our atmosphere and our lungs. And that's it. And there ain't no scientist or president or website guy who can say 100% we know that dust is good for us. Odds are in our favor. Asterisk. But uh, the doom has always been in money. 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 Power. You know, the Illuminati like to keep a top three list. They always got to keep the pyramid at the top, though. 
But for example, like Little Wayne. Little Wayne. I think he's gonna go with cover your ears for like eight seconds. Money pussy weed. I think Kanye's is like money Gucci me. I don't know. I, he gets to pick his own three. And I, you know, and I, I think he's written some great songs. Now that we got this Ford Jet in another video I'd previously made, I asked a question. Because that's what, that's what I do a lot. Because I'm learning about comets and heavens. If you're going to master all seven arts, astronomy is one of them. And that human astronomy and astrology can never be completely disconnected. Oh, I mean, unless everybody dies. That's, that's the, we don't want that. So when they finally came out with new Hubble photographs that Mr. Amateur Astronomer Champion Bruce Gary, the wonderful Tony Scaramato, and A. Anthony Brosio. They explained with a bunch of words math. I'm not as good at the math. They explained that way, and they also showed a bunch of photographs, which were awesome. And it shows clearly what the dust feature is. What the dust feature is, it's a sunward facing tail slash jet. And if comets and the sun are any type of emotional romantic creation, it's probably a celestial relationship conductor. I know you guys can name it. I know I just get in trouble when I try to name stuff. So I will stop doing that for now. I am glad I'm alive. I hope we can all stay alive together. Make a better world. I don't really think it'd be that hard. You just gotta give up hate and war. Yeah, you do. Well? Crap! What kind of car is that? Somebody's following me. Does that mean 